Welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, The Locksmith. Hour and 32 minutes long. It's on Vudu. Um, it's also on Amazon. I'll provide the link in, in the comments if you want to use that. And on Redbox. But anyway, um, this is about a thief who's fresh out of prison trying to reconnect with his girlfriend or ex fiance something like that, and his kid. Um, but I, I'm assuming he follows on hard times and has to resort back to his old ways and use his skills as a locksmith, a locksmith to, uh, you know, make ends meet. Um, and it gets, uh, you know, a lot of different things happen, I'm assuming. I won't go into too much more detail than that. However, it is 4.7 on IMDb, but only 376 people rated it so far. Ryan Filippi is in it. Um, I liked him way back in the day. I know what you did last summer. The movie, not the TV series that they put on. Kate Bosworth. <coughs> She was just in House of Darkness. If you saw my review on that, she's been in a lot, of course. Ving Rhymes. Um, let's see if I can see anybody else here. I'm sure um, I'll sure I'll recognize other people as we go through it, but right now that's all I'm going to say. So I'm going to get into it, find out what it's about, give you a better idea, let you know what I think. So stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, read the credits of The Locksmith, no check-in tonight. Sometimes you just don't need to check in, right? Um, this one's going to be a little bit different than a lot of my other reviews. I did take a lot of notes um, on this one, because, and I'm going to have to speak freely. First of all, Ryan Felipe, um, if I'm saying that right, you know who he is. I saw him in a previous, uh, recent movie, uh, American Murderer. And I didn't, you know, I, I liked him when he was younger, and that one I didn't like him. This one I did. Um, you know, I, I think he, for some reason he looks better in this, um, and I thought he did a better job of acting. Kate Bosworth, she was as good as, you know, as she normally is, and, uh, that's really it. I mean, Ving Rhimes is in it, um, looks a lot different than he did in Pulp Fiction, you know, so on and so forth. So I don't want to go down too much, but I enjoyed, you know, I, I enjoyed Ryan in this movie. I thought he did a good job, and, uh, compared to, like I said, what I've seen him before. So all that's there. I also would like to come out and say, I, I think there's there's the opening of this, the concept, it's all there. But there's one huge mistake that leads to a, in a, a, film, a film riddled with poor decisions and, you know, are you crazy kind of thoughts. So we're going to go right there and I'm going to do this review slightly differently. I'm going to get into spoilers. So if you haven't seen it and you don't want to be spoiler, I don't want to tiptoe around it. Um, I'm not going to again, as usual, ruin the ending, um, but I mean, you can figure it out what's going to happen in this movie. But spoiler alert, I am going to talk a little bit more openly about the film, so if you're, you want to be, you want to see it and stuff like that, and you want to see it for his acting, go ahead and check it out, um, and what I've said so far, because that's all I'm going to give you. Everything else I have to talk openly. So spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. All right, so this movie's about real, real poor decisions throughout the entire film, right? So the beginning is him as a, a train locksmith breaking in and stealing something. All right, you know what I mean? That That's okay, that's that's the good part. That's that's a poor decision, but it works for the plot of the movie, right? And he gets sent to prison for 10 years. Um, there was a cop that kind of hung him out to dry. There's another partner involved. There's, you know, there's a lot. There's a, there's a good amount of good stuff to build on. He's got Kate Bosworth, which is, I couldn't remember for his wife, but the mother of his daughter. And he has a daughter. Goes away for 10 years. He comes out of prison for 10 years. Ving Rhymes is there to bring him in. Welcome him back. He's on straight and narrow. He's trying to reconnect with his daughter. And maybe, hopefully, his ex-wife or his ex-girlfriend, uh, Kate Bosworth, right? Everything seems to be going well. And he's not one of those... You know, sometimes when you get characters who come out of prisons in these movies, and, you know, they're they're always looking. You know what I mean? They they they, they You can't take the the um, criminal out of them. But him, he was like a stand-up guy doing everything. But uh, he has, he meets another girl who, you know, he kind of owes. I won't get into all that stuff, but he feels he needs to help her. Um, which makes sense. It all it all aligns, right? And this is where the big mistake comes up. The big mistake then is, is doing something that he shouldn't be doing to help her, right? He's doing all this other stuff and he's on a straight and narrow and he's a great character, he's getting his feet back under him, whatever, and uh, he makes this, and, and, and that's, you erase that, and you just turn it, 
And that's why I'm saying I'm going to talk. He turned it like he does a robbery. Right? Like, duh. Okay. You can change it, and then you find out all of the backstory, everything that's going on, which is kind of predictable, but that's okay. You, you figure out what's going on. And you could have changed that one piece of that event into something else, and you could still have all the other good elements of this film, film right? You change it instead, instead of him doing something bad to help a good person, have him find out and, and do something good, you know, to help. And there's a way to do that, and, and you know, that's... Like, I'd, I'd like to rewrite that and just put that in there and then do everything else. But then the other stuff, it, it just continues to to get riddled. Okay, after that happens, and it's like, oh, man, that stinks. I really like this character. I wanted him to pull through all this other stuff. So, um, you know, there's all kinds of stuff uh, that I could talk about. Um, and, you know, just so I'm just going to elaborate a little bit more. So after he does this, and, of course, now the bad guys are after him, right? You know, they know they they know who he is. They're going to come after him. So what do you do? You get your daughter and you bring her to your place of work where everybody knows you work at the locksmiths. So, yeah, Bing Rhymes is there, but that's it. Like, Kate Bosworth happens to be a detective or some, somebody on the police force, which is odd that uh, she was on the police force and she was married to a bank robber or whatever, a stealer, a criminal, and who gets sent away for 10 years and, and is, is associating with him again. Well, she, you know, it's just, that's kind of odd. But whatever. So she's going out to try and find these bad guys. They're trying to look for him. And he takes his daughter with her. Bad decision. Like, really? Okay, you're going to bring your daughter there? Like, that, that's a poor decision right there. Okay. Um, and then, like, Kate Bosworth finds out these cops are dirty. Right? And she brings it to her boss. Great. And they don't do anything. They go home for the night. That's it. Let's go have a coffee. Let's go to the bar. Whatever. Nothing. You know, you know that these guys are bad. You can't trace them or track them or put in surveillance in the police station. Just so many things. It's like, really? So you're just going to just go home for the night letting know, knowing that these three cops are, are really bad and you have actual stable proof that, okay, maybe you can't convict them, but you know they're bad people. You got you know, and they don't do anything. And so that just cracked me up. Uh, they don't track their phones, they don't put up surveillance, um, and, uh, okay, two more, two more things, okay. the other thing is, he's a locksmith, so he teaches his daughter the handcuff stuff, which is great, it comes in handy, however, when you think about it, his daughter was handcuffed to a table leg, just slide the thing down and move the table leg and you're free, you don't have to pick the hand, I, I get it, they wanted that point that he passed on that great skill to her and she was able to use it, but then handcuff her to something that you can't get right out of. Just lift the table up. <laughs> you know? Okay. Two more. Then, the loving mother, Kate Bosworth, who loves her daughter. And somehow, over this course of her ex-husband coming out of prison for 10 years and getting their entire family in trouble, including kidnapping the daughter, she still wants to go save him. Okay. I'm buying it. I'm in. But she takes that same daughter to where she's going to go save him, where there's person people who want to kill him and the guy who kidnapped the daughter. What? Like, what a terrible poor decision. Okay, you want to save the guy? You got to do something with the daughter. You don't put her in the car and be like, okay, wait here. I'll be right back. Just lock the doors because the guy with the gun probably won't break the window if it comes. Whatever. Ugh. After all this, and this is a slight spoiler alert, she becomes a lieutenant? After all of this, after you see everything, she's shooting unarmed people. Granted, they're bad, but they're unarmed. You can't just shoot unarmed people who are just running up in a balcony, you know? Um, and I don't even know what she did with the other people, but, you know, the husband's all good and dandy, so he doesn't get any liquor trouble. She gets promoted multiple times um, because of this, so... <laughs> I just had to do all that. I am sorry. I, and, and, you know, I, I had fun with the film. And that's what it's for. It's for entertaining. But uh, this is one of those I wish they'd be like, oh, I like Kimmel's Irish Pub guy. Let's swing this by him and see if he has any other feedback. And, and maybe we'll incorporate it into the film. Because I do think you could change it just by changing that one moment. All these other things we can fix. Um, and there's a lot of good in this. There are a lot of good elements. So. All right, there you go. 
still enjoyed it. A lot of fun. Check it out. Absolutely. Again, my link is in there if you want to go um, use the Amazon link and uh, let me know your thoughts. That was a fun review. Hopefully you had fun. Thanks for tuning in. Gimmel's Irish Pub.